I'm Danielle Kernkamp. Here's what's making headlines this Monday. This morning, Elaine Rosa, the woman believed to be one caught on video dragging a dog behind a scooter, is set to be arraigned in court. Rosa is facing felony animal abuse charges. Back in January, a video went viral showing a woman allegedly dragging a dog behind a scooter. That woman is believed to be Rosa. Last month, after community outrage and protests, the district attorney's office filed charges and Rosa turned herself in. Rosa is expected to be arraigned this morning at 830. And you can now book flights to Dallas out of Bakersfield. Back in October, Kern County Chief Administrative Officer Ryan Alsup announced that American Airlines would be having daily flights to Dallas out of Meadowsfield. This is a first for Meadowsfield Airport. We looked it up, and if you book a flight on Google Flights leaving tomorrow morning, it will be $366 one way. Tomorrow, local band Mento Buru will be bringing the party sounds of the Big Easy during Mardi Gras to Buck Owens Crystal Palace. Also appearing, the Ridgeview High Wolf Pack Mardi Gras Ensemble, who will open the show. Doors open at 5. The performances go from 7 to 10 tomorrow night. Admission is free and all ages are welcome to attend. Seating is first come, first serve, so you might want to get there early. Now let's get a quick check of your new week forecast with Chief Meteorologist Elena Rusk. Yes, we have a powerful system on the way, so you can see that low pressure system that is offshore driving that moisture our way. Tomorrow afternoon through Wednesday, we are looking to get a soaking out of our next atmospheric river event. Now there are some passing clouds and a slight chance of showers today. Our future cast showing us that it's just spotty showers, mainly against the foothills. And then here comes that atmospheric river taking straight aim at Kern County and hitting us hard Tuesday through Wednesday. The potential for flooding down to the south. We are talking about the chance of mudslides, debris flows, other big issues when we get a large amount of rain like this. Zooming in, you see the spotty showers for today. A little breezy, some passing clouds, seasonal temperatures. Here comes more cloud cover for the first half of tomorrow. Scattered showers midday and then a good soaking rain in the afternoon. And then it just keeps coming at times. Heavy rain just drenching us with very fast winds as well. Now those winds are from the east. So that may evaporate some of the moisture here on the valley floor, but the mountains are looking to get hit hard by this through Wednesday, like I mentioned. So for rain totals Tuesday and Wednesday combined, we are talking about a half an inch to an inch potentially here on the valley floor. Up in the mountains, two to three inches are a possibility. Again, that is so much water for us. We are concerned about flooding and mudslides. As we take a look ahead, though, there are still showers Thursday into Friday as a secondary system moves on shore. 60s for the weekend with some passing clouds. And then take a look ahead next week. Danielle, there could be more showers headed our way. Elena, thank you. That's going to do it for this update. Enjoy your Monday morning.